this time by Anton Zellinger and his team. The results sent shockwaves, and physics world went so far as to say this means quantum physics says goodbye to reality. So recent experiments led by the group at the University of Vienna, Austria, provide the most compelling evidence yet that there is no objective reality beyond what we observe. So it's really the observation that creates the reality. And what they found is that Leggett's inequality is violated as well as Bell's. Even if you allow for instantaneous influences, quantum measurements do not fit with the idea of an objective reality. So as they say in, in the magazine, rather than passively observing it, we in fact create reality. A reality independent of observation doesn't exist. There is a persistent erroneous notion going around in the Looney Tune fraternity of idealism. This notion is the claim that Anton Zeelinger disproved physical reality or physical realism. One of them, naming himself George Lamont, even sent me a personal email to that effect. This is actually totally false, just like idealism is in general. One of the things they use to try to prove this is an article in Scientific American called Quantum Theory Fails Reality Checks. This article is nonsense and in my view, the claims are journalistic sensationalism meant to hype and increase sales. The writer of the article, J.R. Minkle, commits a fundamental fallacy throughout. This is the fallacy of equivocation. Minkel fallaciously uses the word reality or realism in not two but three different senses in his article. In the title, the word reality is reasonably understood as the quality or state of being real rather than imaginary. Then in the body of his article, he switches to a different version of realism known as naive realism. And then again, later in the article, he switches to a realism that is correctly understood as counterfactual definiteness. In point of fact, all Zeelinger and his team did was reconfirm something that was already known, which is that naive realism in quantum mechanics is false. Naive realism in physics and quantum mechanics is what is known as non-contextual hidden variables. This is the position that results of experiments and the values of quantum systems are not dependent on the context of the experimental apparatus or setup. In order to disprove objective reality or physical reality, Zeelinger and his team would have to disprove a realism known as metaphysical realism. So no, Anton Zeelinger did not disprove objective reality. This is a blunder that was also committed by inspiring philosophy in his video titled Quantum Physics Debunks Materialism. Which holds to the belief that a reality exists independent of observation, just that our perceptions are just a representation of something that is actually there, but not a perfect representation. The person behind the name Inspiring Philosophy bastardizes what is meant in physics as naive realism to self-servingly prove his agenda and erroneously defines it as meaning that reality exists independent of observation, just that our perceptions are just a representation of something actually there. That is not what naive realism means in physics. That is properly understood as metaphysical realism, though not worded as poorly as inspiring philosophy worded his definition.